Peony Fanatic here. I wanted to go through an eBay exercise of uh, if you're confused on which Beanie Babies are actually valuable in this day and age, how to go through eBay and check to see which ones actually are. Now, it's a pretty easy search. You type in Beanie Baby first gen. And a lot of these, right, you're not going to see anything in the millions or in the ten thousands. You're going to see them for pretty, what seems to be accurate values. Let's start uh, with the top one, which is an absolutely gorgeous piece I'd love to add to my collection. I, you know, this should be, I don't have a mint first gen, but uh, I, I really want this, you know, to be one of the ones. This Bones, the dog. It's a beautiful one. It's a very rare, you know, you find as a first gen, you know, worth 700 to 14. Hundred, so this is right in the middle there. Such a nice one. Okay, we got the orange digger, which was the with the rarer variation of digger. First generation, perfect mint tags, same seller. Eleven hundred seems to be the right price there for a first gen. We got our gray happy. It looks to be. Uh, let's see if it's a mint. Hang tag, it's close, right? It looks like there might be some creases there. Let's see what Becky said. Nope, not mint. So non-mint, I would say it's worth a little less than this, but maybe in the 200 to 300 range. All right, mint with price sticker, doesn't matter. That means it's not mint, but this is still a rare peaking. All right, I would say it could go anywhere from the, the 300 to 600 range. This is a non-mint second gen trap, which, um, you know, this is listed slightly accurately, I would say. Let's see, there might be a little bidding war for it, because Trap is still a rare beanie that people, you know, want. It's a very good-looking, nice nice in the palm type beanie. Um, we got Squealer, second gen here. So any second gen, I would say, should go above, like, from 75 and above. Squealer is a common beanie, but a second gen. Squealer is not, so that's, that's a good one. All, right, all very accurately priced here, for the most part. Right, this is a third gen slither, right? Not mint with crease tags, not museum quality. That's what that means. Let's take a quick look. Um, third gen, hundred to two fifty, so not six, not five hundred, but so this is you know a little bit over, but not crazy over. Now this is a first gen. Tush, I think this this looks like a first gen. Humphrey. Yeah, it is. Non-mint. First gen Humphrey non-mint. There's a nice bidding war for this, so this is accurate. Let's see. Authenticated. First. Any MQ. Uh, mint. Mint quality. First gen. I don't think there's a. No hang tag. So it's not first gen. So you don't know. So this is way overpriced. This one. Second gen. This is way overpriced. This should be valued at around 100. 75 to 100, I would say. Right? An old face. Cranberry. Teddy, and this is a second gen mint. They're saying um, this should be anywhere. I would say probably in like the 400 to 600 range, maybe more for a second gen. Let's see what else we got here. You got Daisy, which was a common beanie, but a second gen is rare. Looks non-mint, so you know anywhere over 75, you know 75 to 100. This is this looks like a fake. Let's not worry about that. No, whether it is or it isn't, this isn't. It's not a second gen. It's just an inaccurate listing. Let's see, this is a chocolate first gen. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's mint. It looks like a rare one. I would say this should go, you know, anywhere above. You know, fifteen hundred is way too much, even if it was mint. So I would say non-mint should go in like the four hundred to six hundred range. All right. This is a. This looks like a fake. All right. So. But yeah, all these are rare ones and you know listed accurately, the ones that are still valuable. This is a second gen new face cranberry. Right, this is this uh this is about listed accurately. Eleven bids for this peaking third gen. That's a nice one. Very nicely colored Rex. I would say no hang tag should probably go in this you know the fifty to seventy five range. This is a third gen chili, not four seventy four. Lower than that. You know, brownie, you don't know. There are no hang tags, so don't believe that one. Keep going. Fourth gen, uh, second gen, Valentino, non-mint, still 400, I think. You know, it's a little bit over. 
Uh, that's why no one's bought it. It's been up listed for a while, but it's still a super nice one because the second gen Valentino is considered one of the rare and holy grail type ones. Uh, third, you know, lo looks like to be like a kind of, who knows, mint or non-mint, third gen chocolate. You know, I would say anywhere from 50 to 100, maybe not 179. If it's mint, maybe 179, but that's a little too much. This, this is one of, you know, this is a, an absolutely fantastic piece of mint, first gen, uh, old face crown teddy. Right, 1600 might be a little too much, but since it's mint and dedicated and first gen, you know, there's the rarity factor, it could add on to it, in my opinion. I would have trouble selling it for any less than that, so I'm with the seller there. But you get the gist, right? Uh, third gen bumble looks non mint from here, so probably should go from like 50 to 75, I would say, maybe even less. I think I got mine for less. The, uh, looks like a non mint uh, third gen light blue peanut, not 500, probably, you know, 30 to 60. Same thing, I think the bumble should be like 30 to 60 if it's non mint. Let's see, authenticated chili, no hang tag, that should be. I got mine for 50, I remember, I probably overpaid, but. I'm anywhere from like 40 to 80, right, or 40 to 60. You get the gist, right? If you type in Beanie Baby first gen, right, this is a punchers. Right? You know, uh, you know, no pinchers, but punchers was the first name, and then it got changed. But there's still first gen hang tags with punchers on it with the Korean five line, all that. This is some holy grail type stuff and a beautiful beanie, and definitely I would say worth the 1400. I don't know if it's gonna sell because not many people in the market for it, but people who love it it's definitely something that's sought after all right rap we got uh i think it's a raspberry they tell me second gen raspberry patty not worth 600 i got my first gen non-mint for about 300 which i think i still overpaid for according to the price guide uh this i imagine it's not mint i'm not sure but definitely not 600 probably in the 100 to 300 range gray happy that's fine right, so all these are yeah so you get the gist Right, if you, you know, this is not, I don't know where this came in here, but most of these are legit. So, you type in Beanie Baby first gen, these are the ones that are still valuable.